Because I'm better than everyone else. I deserve to be Mr. LT because, you know, I got a rockin' body. Uh, so for the swimsuit competition, singing some poetry, so really soothing the ladies. That's what I'm known for around here, getting the ladies going. <laughs> uh, guys like me too, though. And uh, the other thing is, uh, people say I'm a nice guy, so I'll roll with that, and uh, maybe that'll lead me to the crown, and that would be awesome. So that's why I deserve to be the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. LT. Uh, I'd probably say it's my dedication. Uh, it was just yesterday. I was out at Bennett Field uh, running routes with the football team. Uh, they decided to have me uh, run the 40-yard dash, so I ran a, a 4-2-40 into a 20-mile-an-hour headwind, and uh, coaches came over, Coach Beecher asked me, you know, we could really use a guy like you in our defensive backfield, and I said, sorry, Coach, i got to start carb loading for Mr. LT. I think I should be Mr. LT because no one has as blonde and luscious of hair as me, and that's what makes a real man, isn't it? I think I deserve Mr. LT because uh, I love my school, I love the teachers, I love all the kids in it, and uh, it's just a great community. I bleed blood, or uh, I ble bleed blue and yellow, and <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> well, for first starts, I should be Mr. LT because I'm probably the best looking kid in LT, honestly. Um, besides from that, uh, LT varsity football player, uh, big part of the Intramural Badminton uh, Association. And uh, killer dance moves on the dance floor, not gonna lie. Do I just keep talking? Okay, well, now you gotta redo it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be Mr. LT, because I think I represent LT really well. And I'm a really good student, and I'm a really good athlete, and I'm just really good, and I think I should be Mr. LT. I deserve to be Mr. LT because Danny Manson told me to do this and I've always wanted to do this ever since it started and I think I'm very qualified to be Mr. LT. Is that 30 seconds? I believe I deserve to be Mr. LT because I have the God-given right to be Mr. LT. That's all. LT is special to me because I love it here. <laughs> I don't know another school that has basketball games that fill up four bleachers worth of people. You know, LT isn't your average high school. Um, before I walked in the hallway, I came up from my classroom and I saw a sock on the ground. And then I looked up and I saw a girl walking down the ha hallway holding a box of cereal, just eating out of it with her hands. LT is the kind of place when you're not sure if your principal is actually human or maybe secretly part lizard or if you have a teacher that might secretly be a minotaur or some kind of creature. There's ghosts in the school. The school's actually kind of scary. But once you get to know it, uh, the grime and the clean parts and just really the whole, you get the whole view of the school, you come to love it. It's a great place. I love the school, honestly. Kind of weird. Uh, LT is a very intricate place. Uh, it's very different from a lot of high schools because we have so many different opportunities and so many great resources that a lot of schools don't have. So. It's really special because we get to experience a lot of things that uh, people our age don't usually get to. Uh, and I think that LT is such a great place for us to learn and to grow as people. So LT is a special place for me and for everybody. And I think that uh, we all benefit from being students here. Because I go here? Uh, I mean, LT is pretty like, special to me because I, I've met a lot of people here. I've grown close to so many people over the last four years. And I just, I, I mean, I find that like the bonds that you make at LT are, I feel like I'm not gonna lose them anytime soon throughout college, like throughout my adult life. I mean, I know that's a stretch, but like, I, I just feel like connected to a lot of people that I've met here and I wanna keep those connections for as long as I can. Uh, LT is pretty special to me. Uh, it gives me tools of the trade that I can use outside of school. Uh, just like in gym class, we use heart rate monitor. Uh, personally, I've never gotten a single second in uh, heart rate monitor, that's a different story. But uh, I, I use the tools that they've given me to after school live a healthy life, uh, using the heart rate monitor after school, running around my house, uh, trying to get my heart rate up, just trying to get in the zone. Uh, never can, but it's always nice to see that your heart's beating. 
LT is special to me because every day I walk down that hallway, I get this jittery, tingly feeling that not only have I walked down this hallway, but so has the beautiful David Hasselhoff. And to be able to be in such a close bond with that man makes me feel good. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, LT is special to me because of all the competition we have with uh, other high schools, especially the Red Devils of Hinsdale Central, Hawk Finsdale. Wish I could say it the other way around, but I mean, we're on camera. Can't do that. Um, just the rivalries that formed and how the school comes together, um, especially at basketball games and football games. Well, I, I think LT is special to me the most is because I love sports. I'm in Lions Den. I love watching LT basketball games and LT football games. I love the teachers here so much because they're really nice to us. And in my opinion, LT is one of the best schools in the nation. And I think that LTHS has done a lot for me in the past. And it's going to do a lot for me in the future with the help that they're giving us for colleges in the future, basically. LT is special to me because I go to school to it and my parents pay taxes to it. I don't pay taxes to Hinsdale Central or Pleasantdale or anywhere else. That's why LT is special to me. I would secure world peace by getting all people in the world to one place and I would just tell them all, you know, stop fighting. Like, we don't need to fight. We can all just be friends on this earth. Like, we're so many other problems that we don't really just need to fight. We can, you know, focus on other stuff. So, sign world peace would be a pretty tricky topic. I'd probably have all world le leaders gather, um, sit down in a theater and watch a movie Mulan. Um, I, we, they have one girl, she's a once in a dynasty kind of girl, um, saves all of China. So basically, you just got to tell the leaders, uh, they're going to have to sit back and wait for that one girl to come. It, it could be 10 years, could be 10,000 years, but you just got to wait for her to come along and she'll help uh, bring world peace around. To secure world peace, I think that everyone should carry around a little pocket-sized Buddha and rub its belly whenever times get tough, and they'll find that they feel peace in their hearts. I think one of the ways that we can solve world peace is number one, like fixing up terror, the terrorist problems in Syria. I think that Russia, America, and Europe need to, need to join together and beat ISIS down to the floor. After ISIS is gone, we need to start having more United Nations conferences and start talking about peace between Pakistan, India, and we need to start talking about peace in Africa. And like, we need to just get our act together and start loving each other more because everyone in the world is divided. Everyone in the world needs to love each other because there's so much hatred and we need to stop this hatred in this world. I wouldn't secure world peace. It's more profitable if there are wars in the world and if they continue in conflicts such as the Middle East continue, it's more profitable to the United States and uh, people as a whole. Thank you. Well, bees are currently going extinct and uh, bees are very important to the world because you have uh, bees that uh, pollinate every single plant. So without bees, there are no vegetables. There is no, uh, there are no trees. Without trees, you can't breathe because they create oxygen. So. You know, you need bees, so bees all the way, and I think if we can have bees, we can have a more uh, happy earth, because bees. Um, the best way to world peace that America can achieve is probably voting Donald Trump. You know, like some people are going to be like, oh no, why, why Trump? But you know, he's, he's a good guy, he's, in, he's a very successful businessman. You know, and like he, he has a lot of good ideas, like building a wall. Like, how can you go wrong with building a wall around Mexico and Canada? Like, that's and making them pay for it. Like, I, I don't know about you, but that seems like a pretty good idea to me. Securing world peace is actually very simple. All you have to do is get a plane ticket, fly to Saudi Arabia, find a fairly sketchy bazaar, buy a magic monkey paw, and wish for it. Oh, this is, this is an easy one. So uh, just put Donald Trump as president. Um, he will get all the immigrants out and create new jobs. And from that, America will turn great again. Uh, he's been talking about it a lot lately in his recent election. And uh, I'm just looking super forward 
to him becoming president of the United States? I would put myself in every country because I'm a peaceful person and everyone would be peaceful around me. And I'm all, and I wouldn't, and I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, to secure world peace, I'd have to say that a big division in this world is uh, language, and I'd like to unite the world through song. I think that song brings everyone together. I mean, if you've ever seen a Baptist church down south, they get into it, and they're always happy down there. World peace is um, it's a, it's a special thing. Um, and when we think about things in black and white, this very polarized world, that's when we start to tend to fight. The world is really, we should be looking in gradations, in gray. Everything is kind of gray, that's, what, that's how people say it. Um, but gray is kind of sad because there's no color. Um, so maybe we shouldn't do that. I don't, gray is kind of depressing. <laughs> how I would secure world peace. Uh, probably, you know, get the Russians to help. They seem to know the answer for everything. The Chinese, uh, we could talk to, um, uh, like NASDAQ, no, not NASDAQ, um, the big alliance thing that would give us, uh, some world peace. Uh, maybe if we were nicer to each other, that'd be good, but, uh, you know, maybe we should just, I don't know, that's a tough question. That's really tough.